In this video, we show the networking and UI capabilities of Service Manager. Since the dialog is only supported on Windows, we use the Windows host. First, we explain SM Dialog and how it works, at least conceptually. Then we install Service Manager and Dialog on the Windows host. When this is done, we'll be able to control services locally on Windows, but also on the remote AE host. We'll be able to start and stop the automation engine. Finally, we'll use the Dialog's Auto Start configuration capabilities. We'll see how this affects the local SMC file. In the architecture diagram, we install Service Manager and Service Manager Dialog. We also install CAPKI. Let's explain how to network Service Managers and use Dialog for remote management. The AE host is set up on Unix and it has a Service Manager. Its file system contains four core files, the executable, the configuration file, the SMD file which contains local definitions, and the SMC file which contains local auto start commands. Unix does not support Dialog. On the Windows host, we install a Service Manager and Dialog, which means two file systems. The Dialog file system contains the Dialog executable and an INI file which you can ignore. As long as CAPKI is installed on the Windows host, the Dialog can connect to the Service Manager on the AE host and control services. The process is transparent. We assume all initial configurations. We're creating a C colon atomic directory. We've configured Java and placed the install package in an install directory. It's been unzipped and the file structure is exactly the same as on Unix. We install both the service manager and SM dialog. Finally, we install CAPKI. This can be done before or after, it doesn't really matter. Just remember that if you install CAPKI after, you need to restart the manager for CAPKI to take effect. Let's ping the AE host and check Java. The only component that talks to the database is the automation engine, and so ping the DB host is inconsequential unless you want to manage your database as a service. When we run the setup, the service manager file system is created automatically in C colon backslash atomic backslash service manager. We have two file systems. We have to install CAPKI always either as root or administrator. We can configure the SMD file. If you recall, your service manager can only control services locally, but by default the SMD file contains the AE services. There's no reason to keep them, so we get rid of them. We also have a bunch of agent entries that can be deleted. Let's keep the agents, here's why. In the future we'll install the Windows agent on this machine and we want to retain the ability to control the agent service with the service manager. We can install the service manager as a Windows service. We use the UCBSMGR Windows executable. By setting the Windows service to automatic, the service manager will start at boots. The syntax is the executable with the dash install uc4 option. Such a function does not exist for Unix platforms, so you have to use native OS capabilities like Etsy RC Local or CronTab. We'll start the service and check the logs.
You notice an error unable to open the SMC file. This is normal since we don't have one yet. Network connections are established and CAPKI was recognized, which means your service manager connections are secure. Let's start SM Dialog using the Start menu. The dialog is a simple user interface. The computer name drop down menu shows all reachable service managers in the landscape. Below that, you see the agent service defined by the SMD file. Obviously, the agent can't be started because it was never installed. Let's connect to the AE host with the drop down. We just type the host name. On first connection, you may also need to use the phrase drop down to establish the network connection. This may take a few seconds. Once the connection is established, it's entirely transparent. If you run into connection issues, Check the service manager log. These services can be started and stopped with the right click. Let's head back to the Windows host. Services can be started and stopped using native UI functions. We're not going to try. Again, there's no agent on this host. Let's head to properties. The command field shows the service as defined in the SMD file. The start path is the SMD set variable. We have auto start features. You can check this box and set wait in the seconds delayed fields. Doing so immediately generates an SMC file with these settings, and it even works with remote service managers. Any change you make here is reflected in AE's SMC and SMD files. Let's do this for the Windows agent and show the outcome in SMC.